No, you uh, you cut whatever you like, or you let me do it again if you want, if you need. In the 1990s, the then president of Sicopa, um, who uh, was a Frenchman, Yves Regis, um, was, I would say, a genius of development projects and also of obtaining funding for development projects. And uh, prior to him, Sicopa was barely like, uh, I would say, a committee of people meeting or working group or something like that. Uh, that used to meet during ICA, um, ICA uh, conferences. And uh, so it was established in 1947 and from 1947 until the late 1980s, that's more or less what it was. And then in the early 1990s, this is when uh, Yves Regis, uh, let's say, uh, uh, took the bull by the horn and started having this whole series of development projects in China, in India, in South America, Central America and West Africa and Russia. Then uh, this uh, series of projects uh, went uh, to, to, to an end in the late 1990s and in the meantime Yves Regis uh, suddenly died of a stroke in 1996, leaving us uh, the few collaborators that uh, uh, were working with him mainly voluntarily um, with plenty of uh, work to do in order to continue and to uh, close also these development projects. So this is what we did after his death in 2000 and, uh, in, sorry, in 1996 until uh, 1999, uh, 2000. And so before I uh, became general secretary and was then in a position to uh, structure the organization. But between the death of Yves Regis and the uh, establishment of a, a real organizational system uh, when I was named Secretary General, um, that was a very difficult period because really there was nothing. We didn't have any office, any staff, uh, any budget for that matter. So we were really with nothing. And uh, it was really a matter of doing um, uh, financial engineering, organizational engineering also with SECOP, with the European Organization of Cooperatives in Industry and Services. So as of 2003-2004, uh, um, the uh, Secretariat of SECOPA began to be hosted by SECOP and therefore gradually also the personnel of SECOP working partly for SECOPA. And uh, so through these uh, economies of scale that we established, this is how we managed to, uh, to develop uh, SECOPA and to become I would say one of the main uh, actors inside uh, the international cooperative movement. We are one of the uh, sectoral organizations of the ICA and we are certainly one of the most uh, um, let's say active right now and the one producing reports and studies that are being read across the, the cooperative movement. So really we have gone a long way uh, since then. I would like to remind to remember the, my first uh, encounter with Yves Regis and uh, that was in 1990. At that time I lived in China and I worked for the NGO Frères des Hommes and uh, so I was uh, in one of my uh, return trips to, to Europe and uh, Yves Regis came to Frères des Hommes and, uh, to meet me and it was the first time uh, we were going to meet. And I saw this uh, gentleman coming uh, from outside, I saw him in the street with his uh, butterfly uh, uh, neck, uh, typical tall man uh, with a very, uh, let's say, uh, voluntaristic and energetic uh, pace. And he uh, came into the office and I immediately felt uh, a man with great conviction and a big vision of the fact that our cooperative sector was going to be one of the very important cooperative sectors. You could feel that from, uh, fr let's say, from the very s first second. And then we sat down in the, 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 in, in the, uh, uh, the canteen of Frères des Hommes. We took a coffee and then immediately he took off some papers from, uh, from, his, uh, uh, from his attaché case and started saying, now we're going to start to work immediately. Uh, we, I want to do a project with you, Frère des Hommes, in China. 
And this is how it started, concretely, and we started working very concretely uh, with, uh, with Yves Regis on a project which eventually, uh, let's say, was approved by the European Commission and, uh, and which was very important also in the development of, uh, of Sikopa's uh, China members, by the way. So, um, I remember Yves Regis also saying that, at that occasion, that he uh, found his job absolutely passionating. Uh, he, w he, he had a passion for what he was doing and he found it extremely funny. Also, he said, you don't imagine how I find it funny, how I um, enjoy myself in what I'm doing. And he could transmit that to me. And I think that since then, I uh, also can say that I really enjoyed myself in uh, working uh, with, with Sikopa. Now, I think that regarding the future, I think that uh, we still have a gap between what Sikopa is, presently speaking, in terms of staff, uh, in terms of budget, uh, in terms of operations that he can develop on the one hand, and on the other hand, the enormous mission of uh, a sectoral organization working basically in all the new typologies of cooperatives which are appearing in the world today. Uh, all the startups, the worker buyouts, uh, the multi-stakeholder cooperatives, the freelancers cooperatives and so on and so forth. We are really the sector uh, of the innovation of the new frontier of the cooperative movement. And uh, we re would really need to consolidate ourselves because the mission is becoming increasingly important and increasingly heavy also considering our uh, still weak, uh, let's say, organizational and financial resources. But I'm convinced that we will manage to do it if, considering that we've been able to, to go all that way since uh, the late 1990s, I think that uh, within uh, a few years we will be able to uh, to um, to solve this uh, this gap and to meet that uh, that challenge. Uh, also, I also consider that uh, the International Cooperative Alliance, the ICA, uh, should uh, put much more emphasis on the sectoral organisations uh, and um, and let the sectoral organisations um, uh, do more work. Uh, for the whole ICA system uh, because it is one of the main uh, channels of expertise within the cooperative movement. Uh, one of the main channels of expertise is through the sectors and in our sector it is quite obvious that uh, we could contribute much more to the ICA in uh, expertise than what we are doing at present, which is already quite quite, quite a lot, but we could do much more uh, in this respect. Uh, in the end, I, I do believe that uh, our cooperative sector is really, to a large extent, uh, the future of the cooperative movement uh, in the next uh, decades to come.